Right, we're on the last film. The last one's quite, an, it's a lovely film actually. This one is available on YouTube. So it's the only one that's available on YouTube. If you write it down, you will be able to find it when you get home. This is great because in the last film we just saw Alf. Alf was in fact the Apple woman. A stalwart of British uh, stage comedy is dressing as a woman, uh, men dressing as women. And there he was, we, he's, he's about to do it again. We're about to see him as the lead character in this last one. Um, they run around all over the Greendale fields. So this film is absolutely full of locations. So you're just gonna have to bear with me for a moment while I take you through some of them. They start off in Foxes. Is there anyone for here, here from Foxes? I think they were coming down. Maybe, maybe they're shy. Foxes is still in Covent Garden. It's just around the corner from Flickr Alley. So for a theatrical man like Alf, remember all of these um, people performing in here are Alf's theatrical friends. And Alf is himself is a stage guy. He would have known a wig makers and theatrical costumiers in Covent Garden very well. The next, uh, uh, oh, let's have a cheer for Dulwich Hamlet. Dulwich Yay! Hamlet? Yay! All right, this is Dulwich Hamlet 1903. Um, this shot is important because of the background. They had a, um, they had a lovely cricket pavilion. And in the next film, you will see it. And in fact, if I just click it on as well, you can pretty much work out where it was. It's here, just behind us in the wood. In fact, what's lovely about these films is they're so old that you don't realise how, I mean, the whole wood has grown in the, in the time that it's taken. In the last shots of Champion Hill, there are enormous 40 metre plane trees there now, but in the shots in Champion Hill, there's no trees at all. So normally you get that the other way around where you see an image and you can see the trees cut down, but here we're seeing the image before the trees have even grown, which is pretty incredible. It dates it. Um, in fact, the pavilion would have been a little bit further over into the wood, a little bit further over than these steps, but this gives you a pretty good position. And again, you can see the houses at the background. They were the same houses we see on this filming site of uh, Roll of Lino and the same houses you'll see at the end of this film, a much better shot of them. Um, we think this is the oldest surviving record of the Dulwich Hamlet football ground. That's the goalpost, you can see in the distance, and also you can see the Goose Green Church, and if we go to the Hamlet today, you, the same church is still visible in the background, although the ground has changed somewhat. This is Alf um, running down the Greendale Lane. You can still see, if you're careful, St Olaf's playing field sign, which today looks like, come on, come on, bingo. Now this girl here, she's only a bit part, as I said, most of Alf's uh, extras were off the stage and you can tell all of the women in this film are um, performing women. They're kind of, they're not shy of the camera and they wear some pretty incredible hats. Um, this lady here smiles throughout and in fact she's just got up after her fourth fall. Now the, the guys in drag are natural performers and they're stage performers. They learn how to fall hundreds of times. They do some incredibly brilliant prat falls. Um, this woman just lands on her face repeatedly. <laughs> Look out for her, they're very painful, she smiles all the way through. Um, there's also, it's worth mentioning, this in the background, which is the old workhouse. So this bank is still exists, it's on the other side of Sainsbury's. Um, the workhouse uh, is where the estate is now, just at the bottom of St Francis Park there. And in fact, you can see the workhouse in the background of this as well here. Um, these are the St. Olaf's playing fields, so they really did run across all of the playing fields in this film. Um, oh, that was the workhouse very briefly, that then turned off, there it is. Um, so that's the workhouse looking across the Greendale fields. Uh, that's not from a film, this is just a contemporary shot. This is the last, one of the last scenes in the film, and you can again see the house at the top of Champion Hill. So if we just do a little fade out, we can just fade that back one out, and we can leave the ghosts in. So life is, uh, is all very recognisable today. And if we zoom in on that picture, you can see a Dulwich Hamlet football club poster, which is quite sweet. They're playing Shepherd's Bush. So if anyone wants to go to that, you've missed it. Okay, let's, uh, let's roll the last film of the night.